Hello, my name is William, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Quarkus and Cogito. So first, let's go to code.quarkus.io, uh, which will help us to generate a starting project. Let's give it a artifact ID. Let's call it Hello Cogito, and then let's add the Cogito extension and also Swagger extension to help us to visualize all the available uh, endpoints. Now let's download the project. Okay, so uh, let's unzip the downloaded project, which is a very uh, start in Maven project that we can, uh, after unzipping it, import into our IG and we will be using VS Code because we have Cogito tooling installed on VS Code and you can find links to download it in this video description. Let's delete the files that we don't want. So we don't want the basic dash that comes with the project. And also we don't want the example resource. We won't be using it. And to get started, let's create a process. Let's call it hello.bpmn. Okay, what you see load now is our BPMM tool, which help us to develop BPM process inside VS Code. Let's give this process an ID. Let's call it hello. Okay, and let's make it a very simple process. So let's add a task, a script task, and the script task, and then an end node. But for the script task, we just uh, will print hello world on the console nothing else we have more um, advanced examples in the cogito examples github repository with uh, which link uh, i will let in the video description okay so let's save and to make this process available for uh, cogito we need to modify the process type and to do this right now uh, we have to edit the xml so let me format the document. And in the process definition, the tag that defines the process, we will add a new attribute called process type and with the value public. This way, Cogito will uh, scan for our process and make it available via REST. So now let me start the project in, in dev mode. And it's the same as any other Quarkus application. Okay, so the the project started. Let's access Swagger to see what endpoints we have to uh, to run our process. Okay, so you can see it generated a couple of endpoints for the hello process, but we want to post on the hello URI because it is what will start a new process instance. So I call execute here, it returns uh, the process instance ID, which is not, not in, in terms for us at this point because our process just print hello world in the console. So here it is. Okay, so let, let just try the live reload because with Quarkus in Congito, you can dynamically modify your process and see the results without having to restart the application. So we, we test it. Let me just modify this string to hello world with library load, save the file, and now we can go back to uh, Swagger and execute the endpoint again. Call again, you can see that it generates a new ID, and you can see that the changes are available live without having to start or stop the service. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.